Hey there, I had my Campbell Hausfeld air compressor stop working on a sandblasting job I was just doing. When I first plugged it in, it compressed it um, pressurized just fine, and then it went off when it got up to the right pressure. And then when I let some air out, it turned back on, but it was kind of a slow growl in the beginning. And then the second time it tried to turn on, it just made a bit of a buzzing noise and then it tripped the circuit breaker. So I suspect the problem is um, a start capacitor. So it had these um, compartments on the side that it looks like they both house capacitors. That's a kind of a funky one. And this is more of a traditional capacitor. So what I'm going to do is take pictures of the specifications on these. This one's 25 microfarads. 370 volts AC. Uh, the other one has less typical markings for a, well, no, there we go, 430 to 516. I'm guessing that's microfarads. Uh, 125 volts AC. And both of them have part numbers on them, but these things are pretty generic. Uh, capacitor is a capacitor, so I'm going to look them up online, either buy them Amazon or Granger, replace them both, and see if that fixes my problem. All right, my new capacitors showed up. And with a little bit of research, this capacitor right here is my run capacitor, or I'm sorry, my start capacitor, which is the one that I think was causing me problems because the circuit breaker would blow on startup. So pretty clearly that's going to be a start compressor and not a run compressor issue. So when removing a uh, capacitor. Take a hold of it. It's make sure the device is unplugged. Short this out across itself just to make sure there's no charge left in it. These things can be dangerous. And then just remove both wires. One thing you'll notice for my start capacitor is that the new one which is right here is much smaller than the old one. And that's just a function of time. They've gotten better with uh, capacitor materials. The key is just to make sure that you've got the same rating. So this one is New one here is 430 to 516 microfarads and 110 to 125 volts AC, 50 to 60 hertz is standard. And the old one has different writing on it, so it's kind of hard to see. Okay, but right there you see 430 to 516 microfarads and 125 volts AC. So same setup as the new one. The new one's just probably manufactured better with better technology and it's significantly smaller. And hook it up. You just do the reverse of what you did to unhook it. And make sure these things aren't touching each other. And that's it. And then there's uh, an insulator between the case of the electric motor here and where the capacitor sits and it's got this outer case that just goes on and there's two bolts that you tighten up but it hides inside this case and now we'll do the same for our run capacitor which this one does happen to be the same size as the one that it's replacing but very different readings 25 microfarads here and 370 volts AC. The same procedure on this side. Short them out. Move both clamps. Okay. I need this 
glove anymore. Tighten both of these up and start the compressor and see if our fix worked. All right, now for the moment of truth, let's plug it in and see if this works. That's how to replace the start and run capacitors on a uh, on your run-of-the-mill air compressor. And if you want to see what I was using this for when it failed, um, click on the link to my other video for restoring a pit barbecue. Thanks a lot. Good luck.